If you are working with SharePoint document libraries or list items, then today's video is going to be very helpful for you. Today we are going to uh, discuss about a very important concept which is known as SharePoint versioning. So we'll see how it works for both list and libraries. I'll also show you how we can disable versioning by using PNP PowerShell because that option is not available in the browser or through the UI. Now what is this versioning? So versioning whenever you will enable it, uh, then user can track the changes uh, we can restore the changes also uh, from that so this is very helpful suppose uh, you have a team member or any of the team members they are working on a document and uh, if they made some changes and you want to see what are the changes they have done and sometimes you might also want to revert those changes we don't need the changes maybe you just require the previous things which were there so that easily we can achieve by using versioning so you can just a couple of clicks you can be restored to the previous version of the document so this way version uh, versioning is very helpful and uh, what exactly versioning will do is it will create a historical record of your changes that you are going to do with the date and time and the user who modified it and basically what permission you require you require manage list permission that means if you know about permission then manage list permission if you have then you can also work with versioning in in a list and library so you will be able to enable disable check restore delete versioning everything you can do with that permission well, in a, a library you will have major and minor versions major version means it will be like 1.0 2.0 3.0 like this and if it is a minor version means it will be 1.0 1.1 1.2 like this it will go and by default uh, there will be latest 500 uh, you know document uh, versions will be there in a library and for a list it will be 50 uh, versions that you will get so after 50 it will be replaced but you can go to the library settings page and you can change it i'll show you how we can change that also in the system but in case you do not want to uh, to maintain the versioning which is of course a very useful but sometimes we might not need to um, you know enable this in our list and libraries that is also possible that we can uh, do it by using pnp powershell so you i'll show you how we can do it we'll run the uh, command itself I have written a complete tutorial on the same where you will get the PowerShell script as well. I'll put the link in the video description so that you can take it from there. And uh, just note one thing, if you will disable the versioning, that doesn't mean it will uh, remove all the versioning things, it will not. And by default, versioning is enabled in uh, list and libraries, both the cases it is enabled and I'll show you that. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel so that whenever you make videos like this, you will get it. And also, if you want to learn SharePoint development, check out our SharePoint complete development training course. I'll put the link in the video description. Now, let's go to the system and we will see how versioning work, works in SharePoint list and libraries. So, now this is the, uh, you know, the summary of whatever we discussed. So like versioning, what is the benefit and what is the permission is required and uh, major minor version. I'll show you everything now and also I'll show you how we can uh, disable versioning uh, so that the versioning will not be tracked by using PowerShell, PNP PowerShell will use here. And remember, it will disable versioning that will not delete the older version. So it will be there once you enable that will be available. So now let's let me open the site here. Now you can see here I have a SharePoint list. This is a SharePoint list. I have one item and this is a library where there is a document. So um, to see the versioning, first of all, you will uh, go to here uh, on the setting icon, then library settings, and then you can say more library settings. It will come up with the settings page. And on this, if you'll see here, version settings is there. And in this, if you see here, now this is the section where you uh, check all the versioning related things. So create a major version by default for libraries. And for list, that will be only uh, the major version so here you can see major and minor version both the things are there so uh, you'll have 1.0 1.1 1.2 1 like this if you select major and minor both the things and then by default in this there will be latest 500 uh, you know the changes that you will see or the versions you can see it here 
and if you want to change you can change it uh, this also now in case of a list i'll just show you that i'll go to the list settings again same option version settings and here you will be able to see there is a create a version each time you edit an item in the list it is also enabled that means both library and list you will have versioning enabled so if you will not do anything also any changes you can see it later and then uh, you will not see the major and minor those things only uh, you know the just one which is the major version and by default you will see the latest 50 things that you can do it right and then with versioning you know you can uh, enable these things for example you can uh, use content approval so what will happen is uh, your content will not be um, you know available to other users unless and until you will publish it you will approve it so that's how it is now on this uh, let's check how this version looks like here in terms of a document or a item so i'll go to both list and library we will see here now you can see here uh, if i'll go here click and then you can see uh, version history so in the version history you can see here title john is there let me do one thing i'll just edit it and i'll say instead of john i'll say matthew and uh, i'll just save it so if i'll just save it uh, if I'll now go to version history, you should be able to see two versions. You can see clearly the changes as well, right? So, and anytime if you want to, you know, restore or something, you can see restore view. These things you can do and you can delete also. And remember when you will delete that version number. So 2.0, like it is, suppose you will delete the uh, one version. So that number will also go. So next time, uh, suppose you delete 2.0 and next time when the version will be generated it will be 3.0 not 2.0 uh, even if you delete that version number uh, you cannot it will not come here so you will get 3.0 right so this way you can restore it here uh, if i will go to a library item so you will see the same thing you can see it here and then you can uh, anytime you can click here you can view you can restore you can delete so everything you can do it here so these are the uh, you know the version history you can uh, you know restore means the that version will be restored so if you want to do it uh, you can just click here and uh, you know restore it by clicking on this button same way if you want to delete you can just click and delete suppose i'll delete probably this will go to recycle bin you can see here right so that version is deleted now so now um, there will be certain scenarios when you might do not need the versioning here so i want to disable versioning basically so how we can do this is uh, that is uh, you know if i if you look at uh, the library settings or list settings for that matter and then go to the version setting you will not see an option where it is saying that it is it because it is has been removed uh, from the ui uh, in the sharepoint online uh, so you can get it in the on-premises version but it is not available here but you can use pnp powershell or powershell to make it available so what i'll do, do here is um, now let's go to the i need the you know library name you can see here let me uh, we can uh, uh, you know, I'll put a link in the video description where uh, you will get to know how we can work with PNP PowerShell if you have not worked on uh, in PNP PowerShell it is easy to do this kind of operation so here you can see I provide the site name and then I'll provide the list name here uh, or list name means list and library name anything is uh, is fine so you can uh, take this so I'll just copy it and I'll put it here and then you can see here connect hyphen pnp online site url and interactive so it will open the browser where uh, you know you'll put the uh, username and password to connect to it uh, to to this uh, to this tenant and then set hyphen pnp list identity list name enable versioning fault so you, this is what you'll do and once you'll it will execute successfully then uh, you know you'll be able to um, uh, see that option in in the ui itself right so and, uh, and i'll put a link in the video description where i have explained everything uh, or you can get this pnp powershell command also so i'll just run this command so you can see here i'll run this command if you have not logged in it will ask you to enter the uh, you know username password which you will can connect it so since i have already connected to it you can see here now it is saying it is done so now what i'll do here is I'll go here and then I'll go to the library settings 
uh, more library settings and then you see your version settings and you should be able to see here you can see no versioning right that is that option is now selected as well so once you do it uh, and then click on ok so now the versioning will not be tracked so um, you know that is how it it works in uh, if you disable the versioning same thing you have to do for the list list and library anything uh, the the code is same and you can just replace your uh, list or library name here this is the display name you can provide here so uh, you know this is how we can work with sharepoint uh, online versioning for list and libraries and this is how we can disable versioning also if you do not want by using pnp powershell command and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel so that you will get all these videos free whenever i'll make the videos on sharepoint power platform like power bi power apps power automate all these things and spfx videos also and uh, thank you and have a nice day